In this video, we're going to learn how we can use our subclasses. For example, if I subclass a push button, uh, and I want to use this inside of Qt Designer. So in Qt Designer, I can't really write any code, but I would like, for example, a push button to have some properties that I used on my subclass. So we're going to learn how to promote this push button and use our subclass. We are setting the scene to next tutorials, which will be about animation. So I'm using a structure here in animation, jumping button. So just to clear that out for you guys. Okay, let's start by creating our UI and I'm gonna go with widget like we did last time. Here we go. And I'm gonna quickly rename this. And something we haven't done yet, and I'll just, uh, something I haven't done yet is name the, the window. So we'll do that here in window title. Okay, now it's called, this window is going to be called jumping buttons. Okay, jumping buttons. I'll save these in our project folder as we did before main underscore GUI. Okay, so now we have the GUI in our project folder. I, I also went ahead and put placed in the, the PySide 6 loader in there. So if I just go to the code. That's our version check right there for you guys. And if I go in here in jumping buttons, main main is just um, basically I, I did a copy of uh, our previous project, and I'm doing that. I'm um, converting main GUI them to Py and blah blah blah. So I want to change this info system now because in main GUI the the, the name now is jumping buttons. So it's going to be UI jumping buttons. And if I run this, there we go. Our UI is ready to go. So let's first start by subclassing Q push button. And for that, we're going to need to import it. So import it right there from Qt widgets. And now we can subclass it down here. So I'll just, uh, I'll, co I'll copy that out. And I'm going to say, this is going to be our class, and this is important. We're going to call it jump button. The name of the class is extremely important. And we are subclassing the Q push button class. All I'm going to do for now, so that we see that this is working, I'm going to say self, which self is myself, the Q push button. And I'm going to set the style sheet to have a background color of red. I'm also going to pass in the args and quarks so that every time it's initialized, it well, it functions properly. I would have to go into Python right now. If you guys want to know more about args and quarks, I'm sure it's easy to find answers online. Uh, let's not get stuck on that. So, and down here on my app, I'm going to initialize that uh, class, jump button, by adding it to a variable if I like. If not, even, even if I do this, it will work. And uh, I initialize it, I say that, uh, uh, its text is going to be low and I'm going to say that it's a child of this app okay and that should be enough for us to get a button on our window okay there's our button with a red background another way I could do this is by having uh, adding it to a layout so if I create a layout like that and then I add that button to that layout and then I say that my widget which is that window at the moment uh, it will have this, that layout. So I added the button to the layout and I added the layout to the window. And there we go. Now it's inside of a layout. Of course, we want to make things flexible and we want to be able to use our jump button inside of uh, Qt Designer. So we're subclassing Q push button. So it needs to be a Q push button. Okay. So I'm going to leave a, a button right here in the middle. In the, in the, the way we do this is we right click on this guy and we go to promote to. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we are going to call it a uh, jump button, but down here, my widgets. And this is going to be the name for the module where we're going to put all our custom widgets. So if we now add this and promote that, now it's promoted to that. I'll save it. Go back into our code, and now if I run it, it's gonna be uh, the name of the module is gonna be that, and it's gonna import jump button, which means that we have to create a new file here. So if I'll just um, 
create new control n and save it with that name okay my widgets dot pi press enter there and I'll grab this code cut it from here paste it in there save this save this and now let's try it and it's an error lovely error that tells us what's wrong don't be pissed off at errors errors are our friends so what's wrong is that uh, name q push button is not defined where is it not defined in my widgets i mean you're calling for q push button i don't know what that is what are you talking about okay so we have to import q push button there so here we go you can see here uh, sorry if i didn't mention i was importing that we don't need q event here or now we don't need Q push button either, so I'll delete that. If we need it later on, we can ask for it. Okay, so for this, all I need is Q push button for now. All right, so I'll save that. Now Q push button is uh, accessible here in the scope. And here, when you run it, hopefully we don't have any more errors. And as you can see, there's a push button that inherits from the class that we created. And we know that because the style sheet set the button to red. Now this is cleaner, our main file is cleaner. If we look at the, the, the new file now, we can see that from my widgets import jump button. And this is my widgets. If I just look, looking at the full structure here, might be beneficial for us. And I have a jump button. And I could uh, subclass a lot of other stuff here and use it like that. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial when we're going to st start talking about animation.